everyone, it's Maria here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be making a card with the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. I absolutely love this stamp set. I recently acquired it, so I'll be using this one today. I may be using the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I have a vague idea of what I want to do, but I'm not 100%, so I'm going to wing it, and we'll see what happens with that. I tend to wing these um, things. I'm not sure if you've noticed or if you're new to my channel. Um, basically, I wing it, so we'll see what happens. And I may or may not use the rectangle stitch dies as well with this, um, with this stamp set. And the colours I'll be using today, I thought I'd go a little bit different because um, I don't follow the DSP that comes with this step set. Um, I try and do my own thing and I don't really know how to use DSP properly. I don't know if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to do my own colours. And the colours today that I'll be using are Smoky Slate, Daffodil Delight, Mango Melody, Coastal Cabana, Highland Heather and Melon Mumbo. So, I'm going to use some Whisper White cardstock today. This is half an A4 and scored in half again. Uh, just generally speaking, I do not give dimensions because the bulk of my viewers are from the USA. And basically, um, my A6 measurements are insignificant. So, feel free to use whatever card base you wish. My designs are that flexible that you can do it, so it doesn't really matter. And then I've got a white panel here that goes over the front, and this is a quarter of an inch shorter than the card uh, front. So if you can look here, what I've done is I cut a quarter of an inch there and there. So then when I layer this on top, you have a really nice even border right round. So that's how I do it. So to start off with, I'm going to stamp the Dragonfly Garden, uh, sorry, from the Dragon Gardenfly stamp set. I'm going to stamp this more open um, Dragonfly. And what I have done is I cut out a whole bunch of these um, Dragonflies in advance. And I've got a little template here that we can use. Um, I'm going to use my Stamparatus to stamp this in. I find this method um, a lot of fun so and it saves me from cutting things out all the time so I just do things in one hit and then I just stamp away and I have everything on hand so it makes life easy for me. So this is a rubber stamp set so I'm going to take off the uh, foam and I'm going to put my template here on the side in the corner and what I'm going to do is grab that stamp with the open pattern on it with the open wings and I'm going to put it into my jigsaw puzzle so if you can see that here I'm going to look underneath see where it's at that looks like it's pretty accurate so I'll make sure again because I moved it and then I'm going to pop that into the corner there and I'll make sure that this is um, right in the middle and I think it is so let's see how this works out hey <laughs> so I'm going to now grab my dragonfly that I've cut out previously and I'll just fit that in like a jigsaw puzzle so you can punch out all of these um, dragonflies in advance and do it that way and have them ready. So I'm going to use Smoky Slate ink to stamp the butterfly. And I'm just going to do that. And the beauty is if I didn't stamp it properly, I can go back on it again. And here is the dragonfly all stamped ready to go. Now I didn't stamp this a hundred percent properly <laughs> so I'm going to do it again. It's quite off and an image there didn't stamp properly so I'll put this back in and I'll just make sure that I do have it 
um, right in there because this tends to move when um, I put it in to the corner. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> oh, geez. Things don't always work out perfectly every time, so just letting you know. <laughs> okay, that's stamped a little better, so I'm going to keep it at that. It's much easier, e easier, easier with a punch <laughs> to do that. I didn't use a punch, so I'm going to be honest here. Uh, I'm on budget constraints at the moment, so I can't get everything when I want it. So I will take my time and just get things as I go along. Um, yeah, it's, it's not always easy for me to get everything at the same time. So I'm not one of these demonstrators that buys the whole catalogue. Um, I take my time with things and I build up slowly my collections and I try and save money as much as I can because it's not easy <laughs> as you're all aware it's not easy all right so I'm going to grab my craft sheet and we're going to do some ink blending so I'm going to bring that white panel over I'm going to use various colours, so I'm just going to bring out all of my colours here. I'm going to do like a rainbow thing happening here, so I'll just grab one of my makeup brushes. Grab that one. Alright, and I'll start off with my lightest colours and then work my way up to the darkest. So I'll start off with Daffodil Delight. Um, colouring my front panel here and it worked out completely different to what I had envisaged in my head or what I thought I wanted but this actually turned out much better so I'm going to leave that over there now the colours do settle um, after a while so you know it, it's you know do it the way you like it basically it's um, no no right or wrong on this one there really isn't so just do it as you would like, use the colours you would like, and you will, you know, create beautiful, unique things. <laughs> Alright, so I've now finished ink blending everything, so I'll just get rid of my uh, craft sheet. Now, what I want to do with this is I'm going to use my embossing buddy, and what I'm going to do, it's, it's an anti-static powder tool, so basically I'm going to use that to... Sorry, I've got it everywhere here. So I'm going to use that now to apply over the top of my panel here. And then what I'm going to do from the stamp set is use uh, these little butterflies here. And what I'm going to do is basically just um, stamp all over the the front there with these uh, dragon little dragonflies and they look so beautiful so I'll just stamp that all over with Versamark ink and I'll just make them go 
just random. Okay, and I'll just apply some white powder. I'm going to leave the middle out of it because I want to um, uh, put something there in the middle. So I'm going to put dragonfly there in the middle. Doesn't that look gorgeous already? I love that. Let's see how this turns out. And wherever I didn't um, stamp properly, I'm going to just stamp a few more of those dragonflies. So I'll just grab my Versamark again and I'll just stamp where it looks kind of like it's kind of missing. So I'll stamp here. And on the other side as well, just up here, just put a bit more there and then I will reapply some um, powder so that looks a lot better now and I think I put some up here too didn't I Okay, so I'm going to heat and boss this off camera and then I shall be back. Okay, so I've just finished heat embossing the dragonflies and I think that looks spectacular. So, um, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to add the dragonfly in the middle but I don't want it to just be on its own like that. So, I'm just going to have a little think, of, of, I presume I'll be using... Yes, I'll definitely use the stitched so sweetly die there, and then I'll use a rectangle die for the middle that will layer on together. And I think I think I'll go up a size actually, and I'll just match them up and see. Now it's too big. Um, let me think, think, think. No. Um, I think I'll just use uh, another one of the stitched so sweetly dies and just go down the size. And I think that will work out much better. So, what I will do is cut this out in a colour and I'm just trying to think what colour just bear with me whilst I have a think so I don't waste your time and then I'll come back I had a, a little bit of a think and basically what I decided to do was to go for a circle instead so I'm going for the stitched uh, shape circles and I'm using the second largest one from this and what I'm going to do with that is cut that out with whisper white cardstock so I'll just bring over my machine and I'm going to get some white cardstock to cut that out so I'm just going to grab some scraps Let's see if I can find it here's some scraps that I can use <clears throat> excuse me so I'll just grab my number one two a number three cutting plate put the piece of cardstock over there and then I'll cut the circle out 
and run that spray. And that's it with the die cutting. Really, really easy. I don't want to overcomplicate things sometimes, so yeah, <laughs> I thought I'll go for a simpler design. So I put my die away, and then with the dragonfly, I'm going to do some colouring. I'm going to use my watercolour pencils. And the colours I'm going to go for are somewhat similar to these. So I'll match them up as close as I can. So I'll use this green. That's very close to Coastal Cabana. I'm going to use a nice purple, which is, again, close to the colours I'm using somewhat. Yep. And... Use that, and I'll use that. These are all colours that are very similar, guys, so, um, yeah, that's, that's a similar colour. And then I'll use, um, that kind of ended up red, <laughs> so I'll use that one. That's like a pink, so let me grab the pink that I think is close. I'd say that one and a red that's pretty close to that okay so those are the colors I'm going to use on the dragonfly I'm going to make the dragonfly very colorful in bits and pieces so I don't know how this will turn out as I said I haven't really thought this through so I'm going to lower you down and um, I've got a piece of scratch paper here on the side and I've got my colourless uh, alcohol blender pen marker and we'll just start colouring in and this will just be kind of random colouring. So I finished colouring my dragonfly. I'll bring it up closer for you to have a look at. It's just a mishmash of colours. <laughs> I've gone berserk with the colours. I'm not sure if you will like this card, I'm going to be honest here. Um, I just wanted to experiment with colours and just go berserk and see what happens. Um, and I don't know if you'll like it or not, but I hope you do. So I'm just going to pop my front panel here on the front. And I'll just put some glue just on the edges of the cardstock. And I'll pop this up, I think, up this way. And it, I love that the white border around it kind of references the dragonflies. It looks beautiful. So with this one, I'm going to add this in the middle of there. And then I'll add my dragonfly like so. And I think that turned out okay. So what I will do with the circle there is I'm going to use some dimensionals and I'm going to pop the circle up on dimensionals. And I will also use dimensionals for the dragonfly as well. So that will have a little bit of dimension. dragonfly up on here and let me know what you think I'm not sure if this is everyone's cup of tea it may not be my best I probably isn't my best work I would say I'm a pretty harsh critic of myself when it comes to 
um, my work. Um, I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> um, let me know your thoughts. Um, do you like this card? Do you think less colour is better? I'm not sure. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And, um, you know, it's good to experiment with colours and with things and think outside the square sometimes because it makes this all so much fun. So just to recap on the car, the, sorry, the supplies that I used is the Dragonfly Garden stamp set this um, and these stitched shapes dies as well. The other two I didn't bother using but I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you have any questions, any feedback regarding this card, good or bad, I can take criticism. <laughs> Let me know and I'll be more than happy to um, yeah, work on it. <laughs> Thanks so much everyone for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again next time. Bye for now.